Hello, you wonderful, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back. My name's Tierra. My channel's Tierra Source Rex, and I am here playing Fallout New Vegas Blind in 2020. I'm trying to find Daniel here. I'm at Zion, by the way, you know. <laughs> trying to find Daniel. Uh, I'm having, I'm a bit lost, just a little bit, but I'll get there. I think I may have found Daniel. Guess it works, though. <laughs> I can agree with that one. Hi, Daniel. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Look, I don't really know him. The sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the white legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Okay, what do you do here, first of all? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. That's what I thought. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. <sighs> okay, you said you used to help the Sorrows with their problems. What do you do now? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. Mm. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already hap- I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. What does that mean? Okay, has this happened before? Yes, but not just white legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors, slavers, anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the tar walkers and the crazy horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them, but they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. Alright, so the white legs are already here. What's your plan? To remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the white legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. Mm. But they can't follow us east. Not into the grand staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. Understandable. Of course. Why are you so eager to evacuate Zion? You don't seem to be a pacifist. There's an old saying that goes, If you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I, since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. Okay. Why would I convince him not to kill any white legs if they attack them? Of course he'd shoot. It's a lot of responsibility. The new Canaanites interfered in their lives. We did that. And we've done it before, with others. Always with good intentions, but things go wrong. Mm. When that happens, we can't just abandon them. Let them die at the hands of New Canaan's enemies. Joshua came up with a reasonable alternative. Why not help them fight? Joshua doesn't just want to fight the White Legs. He wants to annihilate them. The stakes are too high for their tribe. Hurting them won't dissuade them. If they can't join Caesar's Legion, they'll die out in a generation. They've never learned how to survive. Food preservation, tanning, even basic hunting and cooking seem beyond them. They only survive by scavenging and raiding. But that can't last. Mm. They'll only stop if Joshua and the dead horses can kill their war chief and their entire war band. That's exactly what he intends to do. What do you know of the White Legs? They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. Mm. 
It said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. It's a good thing that I'm not a close range fighter. Because <laughs> um, I would probably have some issues with that. What do you know about the father in the caves? Father in the... Oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Um, yeah, they kind of think that your teachings are the same as their teachings. Like, you, you came here as a missionary. You don't seem to be doing that very well. Oh? Oh. <sighs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Okay, Joshua told me you needed a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a gentile, or, uh, no offense. <laughs> These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Okay, this guy's giving me off vibes. I'm... I'm not sure I like his diction. Ah, uh, I mean, at least he's trying to evacuate them. I support him evacuating them more than... I appreciate the enthusiasm. More than wiping them there out. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Nah, it's cool. I don't I don't need Waking Cloud right now. I've got, um... Well, here we part job. ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. No! But, I like you! You're cool! Sorry. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. Aww. I will. Good going, Agnes. No! Wait! I want Follow's Chalk back. Follow's Chalk is cool. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? Not really. But fine. Certainly. We should make haste then. Alright, woman. You can come along with me until I replace you with Fellow Shock. <laughs> He's a cool guy! I want him back! I like how he narrated everything. You know what? No. Technically, I'm not in a building right now, so I can just fast travel over there and get Follow's Chalk back. After I've got, you know, Follow's Chalk's quest done, of course I'm gonna come back and finish up with this, um, follower companion person too. But, Follow's Chalk is cool. So I'm gonna do him first. Oh, wow, I've almost... I've gone from the map from, like, top to bottom. Have I? Have I explored almost everything? I feel like this is gonna go a little further... No, it's, it's, there's the border, I see it. Whoa, I thought that this map would be a bit bigger, in all honesty. It felt like it was. Like, the way that they had it laid out, they did a great job with that. Fast travel's currently unavailable from this location. Ah, uh, of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? What are you doing here? By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. 
Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? Did you just threaten my life? <laughs> um. Oh, oh, I get it. He wants to defend. He wants to stand his ground against them. Whereas this guy would rather go further out east and leave Zion. Well, I can see how you see it's like running and you think that this is your promised land. I've got to think about this. Okay. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing. But when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work. And the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. This kind of feels like a like a backwards inquisition. Is that just me? <laughs> like they're not the ones that are they're not the ones that are going in and attacking, but they, it definitely feels like <sighs> okay. <laughs> I love how it says, this conversation just got pretty dark. What was that about happy dashing the little ones? <laughs> happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek, but an insult to the Lord requires... No. It demands correction. Mmm, okay. Doesn't... You know... It's, it's kind of starting to feel like a bit of a... Like the new Canaan thing? Starting to feel like it was a bit of a cult, maybe? Just a little bit. I'm, just a little bit. You're not so certain. Fair enough. We all have doubts. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. But you can be a Thomas for now. Fight the white legs enough, and you'll see the truth. I just hope that by the time you understand, there will still be time to convince Daniel that we have to fight for Zion. To save it and the sorrows. What are you doing over here, though? That's what I want. Why are you here? Wait, I need to talk to you about. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Okay, wait, I need. Personal questions? It's not something I enjoy, but I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. What would you like to know? <sighs> Are you in much pain? Is there anything I can do to help? You are kind to offer, but no, there's nothing you can do. We don't use candles, but I learned long ago that I'm immune to their effects. What does that mean? It never stops burning, my skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. It's better to be clean than comfortable. Oh. Okay, um. It's not something yes, I... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, were you always with the New Canaan? I was born in Ogden, but people came to call New Canaan. Things were more peaceful when I was growing up. When I was a young man, I went out into the world to do missionary work, as all New Canaanites do. I traveled along the Long 15 and followed 89 South to Arizona. Along the way, I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. They're cool. Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun. They came to teach the tribes. 
Calhoun was a good man. Edward was the one who got us into trouble down the road. Oh, was one of them sealed? No, not that. Back then, he was just Edward. Smart man. Young, but we all were. We thought we could hike into the Grand Canyon and talk to Blackfoots. We did. And the Blackfoots were friendly enough at first. But eventually... I've thought back to that day so many times. I must have mistranslated. Something must have been mixed up. Because the Blackfoots decided to work for me. The rest is history. Assuming Edward hasn't changed it. Mm -hmm. How did you end up as Caesar's Liggett? This way lies the path to hell. Edward, Caesar, needed me to translate. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. Leading in battle became training, punishing, terrorizing. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. And I stayed in that darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. How did you survive? I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never left. Never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. Sounds like you got a lot of pent up anger there. Just a little bit. What do you know about Sultapon wounds? He's a butcher. Believe me, I know the godless fire that burns in his heart. I've been burned by it myself. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No, he likes to have a hand in it, that spear of his. He's fashioned himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. Mm. All right, well... Can I please talk to you about Follows Chalk? God be with you. Please. Welcome back. What can I do for you? I want to talk to you about Follows Chalk. God be with you. He said bring it up with, oh, well, when I was back at the camp, and technically I'm not right now, so. Hi, Follows Chalk. What's up? Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. All right. Let's talk. Do I have. Wait. Go with I didn't have the option. I'll save talking to him about all that stuff for the next episode. All I really want to do is convince Joshua Graham to let me. let me take him along. <gasps> My game buzzed when I was trying to talk to him. I just went inside. How far back? Oh no, I just okay. Guide and protect us, your humble children, as we labor in the vineyards, and make us strong to resist those who would steal Zion from us. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Um, well, I guess I'll be trying to recruit Follows Chalk again in the next episode. So we'll see you then.